This is Hobson Lane, your uh, professor for the CISC 179 Intro to Python class at Mesa College. I'm going to show you quickly how to uh, log in to your RuneStone account that I created for you, and also how to do that first assignment, at least get started on it. So you can, uh, there'll be a reading assignment as well as the actual quiz that's at the end that's graded. So uh, first, you need to use your last name and uh, the number 24 for 2024. Um, and then you need to use your, the password that is the last six digits of your uh, student ID. I've already changed my password and there are instructions on how you can do that in a video on, or in a, in a, a sequence of screenshots over there in the orientation if you need that. But let's see, uh, now I just gotta remember my password. You probably wanna check remember me. Looks like I got it wrong. Try one more time before I have to use my password manager to look it up. If you lose your password, um, you it will send me an email um, and I can um, set your email address or any other information you would like um, so that you don't have to. Right now, it's, it will send all emails to me for your account. Uh, this can protect your privacy if you're really, really, really concerned about privacy. But RuneStone's very, very careful with your data. They record very little stuff. Uh, but if you don't even want your email with them, um, you can just continue to use the system as it's set up now. So I've got mine um, all set up and I'm going to just, I'll show you the reading first. So you typically um, uh, have, I can go to the last page I was at, or I can go to the table of contents on the reading. And so it looks like um, I've read through chapter one under this account already, but um, I'll just show you how you can do it uh, yourself. So of course you wanna play the video to understand what that chapter is all about. And you can go forward and backward in these exercises. Let's see if there's any, you can mark every chapter is complete. That does not give you, that's not a grade, a graded activity. That's just for your own uh, satisfaction. So you can see which chapters you've done. Uh, and again, and even these exercises where you have to do a little bit of uh, code running, uh, notice how it, this input statement is popping up uh, a dialogue. So in Python, normally this would be at the command line, but because it's in a web page, it's going to pop up a dialogue box where you can enter the radius of a circle. And so if that was a square, two by two would be a four, uh, it'd be, have an area of four. But with a radius of two, um, well, I guess a, a square with a radius of two would be four by four, which would be 16. But the circle is going to be inside of that, and so it's going to be smaller, and it gives you a re, uh, area of 12.56. And this is the code in Python that'll do that. So that, that just ran, and you can see this bar went forward, uh, that extra activity one, and you can answer the, the multiple choice as well. But again, this is just for your own benefit. Um, uh, so I'm going to mark this one as complete, even though I haven't done it, which you're free to do. And that's why it's not a great assignment. So let's go to your assignments when you're ready to actually do the quiz. It's at the end of that chapter. Uh, unfortunately, these are going to be listed in reverse order. So you're going to need to go to the bottom of the list to start at module one. And then you're going to, um, and you can see it's it's showing you the readings I've done recently on, as I just logged in. Uh, interestingly, it's not recording my previous work, but anyway, um, I guess those checks are for the ones that I just marked completed. Um, anyway, so now you can do the quiz. And so this first one is asking me an algorithm is a solution to a problem that can be solved by a computer, a step-by-step -step sequence of instructions that if followed will ex exactly solve the problem under consideration. Not a very well-worded, uh, question, but I'm going to give, give you the answer to that one. Basically, an algorithm is just a recipe for how to do some things. And um, it doesn't have to be for a computer. It can be for another person, just like a recipe is. 
um, and um, and it doesn't necessarily solve a particular problem. Um, just like a recipe, uh, it's just an algorithm for getting something done. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's that's the correct answer, and so it's going to mark me as correct. Uh, you could go on and do the rest of these. And at the very bottom, this is where you're going to have to, and you're going to do the save and run. You're going to need to write some code in some cases. Um, uh, you click the in progress, I guess. Let's see if that works. Uh, and then you can click, once you click the in progress, then you can also click the finished. And now um, that should record my grade of one out of 24 of these questions. Uh, let's go and see if that worked. Um, let's see if I can, you can even see your grades. Uh, uh, yeah, it shows in, you should be able to see under your assignments in, um, in RuneStone, the number that you've gotten correctly. And each one of these modules will count as one point or one percent of your overall grade. And uh, in total, you'll be doing more than I think it's going to be sixteen or eighteen chapters, um, uh, which will of course be only fourteen modules. So that one per so that those one points will add up to about um, fourteen points, fourteen percent of your overall grade. If you have any questions, uh, ping me in either the FAQ discussion uh, or the FAQ discussion, um, or that'd be the best place to, to send any questions rather than sending me emails or inbox messages uh, in Canvas. That way everybody else can see the answers to these questions, sort of like this, um, this video. So, um, Look forward to seeing you online and I hope you're having a fun working with this interactive textbook.